Ciao ragazzi, welcome today from Cernovio at Lake Como. I will give you eight life lessons from Ratan Tata. Yesterday I received a message from a good friend from Australia, Manny Stuhl. Manny Stuhl is the World Entrepreneur of the Year the best entrepreneur in the world right now. He sent me some life lessons from Ratan Tata, asking to share them with uh, people who are important to me. I feel you are very important to me, that's why I am sharing them with you. Who is Ratan Tata? Maybe you have heard of Tata Corporation or Tata Group. This is one of the largest corporations in the world, over 100 billion dollar in revenue, over 115 billion dollar market capitalization, over 660,000 employees. The group is set together of several hundred companies, among them 30 publicly traded companies. Tata Group is involved in business in almost every imaginable industry, from airlines to energy, from telecommunication to computer services, from engineering to healthcare. Of course, you may know the Tata cars, uh, but uh, they manufacture many other things and they are also in mining, uh, into energy, in, into steel industry, uh, many, many, many industries. And Ratan Tata is CEO of that conglomerate. He is, I think, third generation entrepreneur, so he won't appear in my, in my book and he doesn't belong to the 25 people I have interviewed for the book. But he is a good friend of many and Tata family is legendary in India and all of the world. They have uh, this uh, tradition of entrepreneurship over several generations and have gathered a lot of wisdom, which Ratan now passes to actually to wealthy people because it was um, you know lessons to wealthy people but i think some of these lessons can help all of us so that's why i want uh, to pass them to you and i will pass them on uh, without comment and i would ask you to discuss these life lessons uh, in the comments the best comment with the most engaging discussion will uh, get a surprise reward so let's start with the life lessons. I have noted them down so I don't need to carry a computer with me. So please excuse if I read them for you. First, don't educate your children to be rich. Educate them to be happy. So when they grow up, they will know the value of things, not the price. Second, eat your food as your medicines. Otherwise, you will have to eat medicines as your food. Third, the one who loves you will never leave you because even if there are 100 reasons to give up, he or she will find one reason to hold on. Fourth, there is a lot of difference between human being and being human, if you understand it. Number five, you are loved when you are born, you will be loved when you die. In between, you have to manage. Number six, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. But if you want to walk far, walk together. Seven, six best doctors in the world are, first, sunlight, second, rest, Third, exercise. Fourth, diet. Fifth, self-discipline. Sixth, friends. Maintain them in all ages of life and enjoy healthy life. And the life lesson number eight. If you see the moon, you see the beauty of God. If you see the sun, you see the power of God. And if you see the mirror, you see the best creation of God. So believe in yourself. And the end remark, 
enjoy the trip called life. Now I would like you to discuss these life lessons in the comments. And as I said, the best comment with the most engaging discussion will get a surprise reward. And the end of the message was, if you found these lessons helpful, wise or inspiring, please share them with people who are important to you. I am sharing these lessons because you are important to me and I am grateful to many that he share it with me. And I ask you to share these lessons with the people who are important to you and also to the people who may need these lessons or who may use these lessons in their lives. I'm here at uh, Villa Des in Chernobyl and I will show you how beautiful the gardens are here behind me and also the lake. Here the Grand Hotel, here the pool at Lake Como behind me and of course Villa Des. Behind me you can see Harry's Bar in uh, Chernobyl. I met here a guy who delusively reminds uh, me of George Clooney. And I told him that and that certainly many people mix him up with George and speak him up because of it. But he somehow didn't find it funny. I don't know why. So I hope you liked it. If you want to hear more of Billionaire Wisdom, you can subscribe here. And here you will see one of my favorite videos.